higher levels of academia and research, you find that uh, the prestigious awards and publications are often disproportionate to men. So what do you think like steps can be taken by like institutions like this and the government to increase presence of women in STEM? Uh, there's a research and there's a solution. There's a reason also for that because only women deliver. <laughs> Once a woman becomes a mother, then her priority changes. It happens. That does not mean that, you know, she cannot do later. She can do. So women become a little bit lagging behind because she gives birth to children. And the moment you become a mother, your priority is always children. And that is the reason that they are lagging behind. And I'm sure in a, in a developed countries, and I'm sure even in India, it is, it is, it is really picking up. It takes time. Uh, because you should require extraordinary strong support from the family. In my case, my parents stayed downstairs and I really dedicate a lot of my uh, uh, success to my parents. Because my parents stayed downstairs, I stayed upstairs. And my mother will tell me, oh, you are not finished your work, you are going, I won't even care. She will take care, okay? So if you have your parents, particularly for a girl, it is more than in-laws, it's a parent support, it's so important. And if you get a strong support, a woman can be equal even in, in terms of the research, everything. But there are many, many people are coming, but it takes time.